Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about top SSIS interview questions along with the answers. In the previous video, we talked about only questions. So let me go to the list of questions which is asked by the panel in the previous interviews. If you go to the questions perspective, what is SSIS and is there any alternative tool for this? Yes. So SSIS is nothing but a SQL Server Integration Services. It is one of the famous ETL tool. It will help us to extract the data from any sources and it will help us to transform the business data based on the business requirements and it will help us to load the transformed data into the required destination. It will help us to read the data and it will help us to transform or convert the business data based on the business rules and it will help us to load into the any destination or target environment. Is there any alternative tool for this? Yes, in the market, we have around 20 plus tools in the market. Rate yourself in SSIS on the scale of 5. One is at least 5 is the best. Yes. See, it purely based on your confidence level, you need to answer this question. So, if you are average, you can answer for 2 or 3. If you are good in SSIS, you can go for 4, 4.5 or 5. If you are 5 means, you will be able to answer all the questions. Next, what are your responsibilities in the SSIS project? As a SSIS developer, so you need to know how to design the package in terms of technical design. It means, so before you are talking about technical design, you need to understand, you need to know some business terms. You need to tell, understanding the business requirements and uh, participating the business calls and doing the technical design for the package and later you will be going for the implementation so as a part of the implementation you will be doing the logging you will be doing the uh, error handling and you will be part of the core review team so these are the responsibilities based on your confidence level you need to say it next how do you execute the ssis packages there are many ways of executing the ssis packages so during uh, development, we will simply use the start debug button or um, using F5 short keys. Or if you come outside of the SSDT, so if you have a utility DT EX utility, so you can execute the package with the help of the utilities as well. Or you can run the package by using SQL Server jobs as well. So those are the options you need to specify that. Next, how to link SSIS packages with the SQL Server job? Yes, you can link it. So by directly writing the script, you can link that or you can go to the SQL Server agents. So while creating the job, you have an option integration services and then you need to select the package location. So this is how you can link the SSIS package with the SQL Server jobs. Next, what is the incremental load? Incremental load. This is a one of the important question in the ETL tools. So there are two type of loads in the SSIS system. One is the incremental load and the second one is the full load. So when I say incremental load, it means that so we are going to compare the data between yesterday and today or uh, current run and the previous run. So if there is any change in the data between the current run and the previous run, then we will be capturing only that uh, delta part. We will be capturing only the change part. That is nothing but an incremental load. Yes, it is very important for the ETL developers. We need to capture only the delta roads or change data. So there are some scenarios where you may need to load a full data as well. But that is not preferable until and unless it is a pure um, a requirement basis. So when it is uh, suitable for full load, when you are loading a master data, which means that it is less than 100 rows or less than 100 um, uh, records per uh, uh, table. So that time you can go for a full load rather than doing incremental logic on the top of a table. Yes. Next. What are the differences between full load and incremental load? Yes, we already answered that question. So full load is nothing but a we will be loading entire table every in every load. But when you go for incremental load, we are comparing with the current run with a previous run. 
so based on the comparison we are identifying a delta so that delta only will be loading into the current um, uh, run so do you know the debugging yes as a ssis developer debugging is very really important so debugging is the one which will help us to track the execution of the ssis package during the runtime itself so let us i want to understand the data flow in the um, particular data flow task yes i can enable a, a debugging and i can identify the data is going correctly or not what are all the debugging techniques in the ssis package so there are uh, debugging techniques yes so i can do the debugging in one way in the control flow level than the other way in the data flow level in the control flow level i can do the debugging with the help of the break points and in the data flow level i can do the debugging with the help of the data viewers so those break points and the data viewers are the one which will help us to enable the debugging in the ssis next what is the delay validation yes there are some scenarios where i should not validate my sql query in the ssis task so but that needs to be validated during the execution of the package so that time i'll keep the delay validation to true for that particular uh, query so that time it won't validate during the design time or development time even though it fails but it is going to validate during the execution time itself so that is the reason why delay validation is also important for the ssis developers can you explain a, a flow for a simple scenario like a load data from oracle to excel yes i'll create the connection managers for oracle and excel and i'll read the data from oracle and i'll write the data into excel hope you don't have any transactions or you don't have any transformations in the middle so if that is a simple scenario then i can do that way if it is a complex scenario saying that i need to do some transformation yes i might need to do something more here what is the configuration configuration is one of the important in ssis so it will help us to provide a dynamic behavior to my ssis packages Next, what is a sequence container in ssis sequence container is one of the important uh, component in ssis it will help us to group the tasks it will help us to create the variables with a scope of a sequence container it will help us to keep couple of tasks in a single transactions and it will help us to improve the readability of the package let us say i can keep the similar task in a single container so and the different uh, task i can keep in a different container it will help us to improve the readability of the package what are parameters in ssis the parameters are one of the important which will help us to provide a dynamic behavior to my ssis package so what is the difference between parameters and variables parameters which are scope of a package and project level but variables with a scope of a package level only highest scope of a variable is a package only if you want a detailed information about the parameters and uh, variables so we have a video in my video collection please go through that so that gives you a full picture on the parameter and variables next so can you tell me one complex scenario in your current project if you if you have any one complex scenario you need to talk about that but if you are attending a experience interview better to create a scenario on your own even though you have very basic scenarios in your project but as yes, you need to explain a complex manner do you how do you handle complex scenarios in the project yes in the same way you need to answer that you need to prepare on your own for these two questions do you use scd1 or scd2 yes again so it depends on your current project in your current project mostly we will use scd2 and yes there are some scenarios where the people are going for scd one as well have you used scd in your project explain if yes so if you directly use the slowly changing dimension transformation in your project you can say yes and you can explain for what purpose 
or you can you can say i didn't use scd control directly in the package but as yes, i use the logic with the help of the other controls what is logging have you implemented logging in your project logging is a one which is really important for the ssis developer which will help us to trace or track the execution flow of a package at any point of time so you can log that information in the sql server you can log that information in the notepad as well what is environment variable in ssis see let us say you created a parameter in the ssis project and you need to use that parameter in the uh, during the deployment as well or once post deployment as well so that time you need to link that parameter to the environment variable because you you won't be knowing the parameter post deployment so that's the reason why you might need an environment value how do you secure your packages in ssis so you the security like so if you are going with a file system you need to do with the file security file system security management or if you are going with a sql server so the sql server by default implements with a security mechanism or during the ssdt you have you can protect your package with a password what is a text qualifier yes there are like a while we are getting there, there are some scenarios where we get some flat files or some files csv files from the source systems so those are qualified with some text qualifier so that time like i need to know what is a text qualifier either a comma or some special characters so that i need to specify in the ssis package development next what is the staging staging area is one of the important in ssis package where i need to load the data some raw data into staging area then i will transform the data accordingly based on my business requirement how do you call one package from another package in ssis so i can call one package from another package by using execute package task or there is another way i using by using dot net script task also i can do this have you used script task in ssis so if you are if you are familiar with a dot net then better to answer yes if you are not familiar with a dot net then you can say yes but not for all the cases next how to pass variable value from one package to another package yes you can pass a variable value from one package to another package by using dot net either c sharp dot net or is vb dot net so these all the list of questions which is asked by the panel in the last year so if you have any questions which are not covered as a part of this discussion please comment those questions in the youtube comment section we'll talk about those questions in the later videos that's it thank you for watching please keep subscribe our videos and comment thank you